my name is Timmy Banning. I am an everything artist, also known as a mixed media artist. Uh, I come from a mixed heritage of Bahamian, Barbadian, and Nigerian, which has influenced my work greatly between the colors and the textiles and the patterns that I have always been around throughout my childhood. I work in a range of mediums, going from house paint to acrylics or pastels or stains. I also use mylosine and use paper clippings. It can be on wood or it can be on canvas, but one of my main mediums I like to use is actually resin. Resin just gives everything like a polished look to me. I also feel as if when it comes to the durability of keeping your artwork for years, resin is a good coating to keep it for your clients. I just think it, looks, it makes everything look pretty. Um, what inspires my work is actually the memories that I do not want to lose and how I'm feeling at any given point in time. And the reason for that is I've had family members battle dementia and Alzheimer's where they lost a lot of not just memories of their surroundings but actually who they were. So I'm hoping that when I get to that point in my life or if I do get to that point in my life, I will have something to look back on to spark different memories in me so that I can always remember who I am. The hardest part for me when it comes to creating a painting is actually being able to create for myself and not be so influenced or worried about what other people's expectations might be on my work or my craft. Well, the textures in my work come from the way that I layer my acrylic paints, especially on canvas. I use I used some thin layers, but I use a lot of heavy layers, especially with the oil stains. I let it actually bubble up and actually have um, chemical reactions depending on what I'm using. If I'm using automotive paint, it'll have a different reaction with the oil stain, therefore it might be pits or bubbles or high rises or dips. So and when I'm working with wood, then automatically you know we have the texture of the wood actually coming through. As I leave a lot of bare pieces and I just cover it with stains so it can shine through. I can still have color themes to a certain point, but not throughout the whole process. A lot of people have told me that I just how they don't understand how I put my colors together. I feel as if once it works, just as in things with nature, no plant chooses where they want to grow. If a purple plant grows here next to an orange plant or a blue plant, that's just how it is. So I feel as if colors can actually be the same way. And once they work, they work. Titles are very important to me because they actually allow the viewer to see my thought process and a lot of times what I have portrayed on campus probably won't resonate with the viewer or have any understanding. So it's good to always give them at least bread from so understand where my mindset was at that point in time. Uh, with my titles, I usually just yuck for abstract thought and whatever, which, whichever ones actually resonate with the painting, that's what I usually go with. Um, one of the biggest influences in my artistic process has been Ken O'Connell. Um, mainly because he's an abstract artist and there's a freedom that he actually portrays in his work even though there's a lot of control behind them. I feel as though I see a fight that he has won, if that makes sense. I see the inner battles and then I see the resolution. And I feel as if the resolution would be the finished painting that he comes up with. has many different products. We have home decor signs, we have outdoor signs, you can get it with lights, you get it without lights, we have coasters. We also do um, dominoes and backyard and shepherds, you know. Um, but right now we're trying to get into furniture. So we're starting off with tables and then we'll progress to outdoor types of furniture. But uh, we also have cutting boards, you know, sushi boards, uh, anything you pretty much need for your house, I'm sure that we can discuss it and probably make it come to life.